Ladies and gentlemen, as we switch back, back over to Bunsen, we'd like to take this moment. Would you please join me in welcoming everyone who is watching tonight on Fight TV in Bulgaria tonight. Good evening to all of you and welcome to Fight Club OC. Let's bring out the combatants for our next fight of the evening. First, would you welcome from Brooklyn, New York, this is Joel Showgreen. Joel Showgreen comes to us with a record of 14-4, 13 KOs from Brooklyn, New York. Comes to us in the red trunks. He has heavy hands. He's a tough guy, and he's got his work cut out for him against Turbel Pulev, who's coming from Bulgaria. Once again, you are watching Fight Club OC live from the Orange County Fair and Event Center in beautiful Costa Mesa, California. Put on by Engelbrecht Promotions and Events. And to second what Mike Hart was saying, we welcome all of our viewers from everywhere in the country, but especially the Bulgarian contingent that is in the building tonight and watching abroad. This should be a very entertaining fight. Welcome from Sofia, Bulgaria. This is Tirbel Pule. Tovo Pulev coming to us in the red and gold trunks with a record of 16 and 1 with 13 KOs all the way from Sofia, Bulgaria. Behind him is his brother, Kubrat Pulev. Kubrat has fought the likes of Anthony Joshua, has fought the likes of Vladimir Klitschko, has fought the likes of Derek Chisora. He has, and he even fought here at the hangar, I believe getting a stoppage victory over Bogdan Danu on ESPN. Either way, Turbo Pulev is in the ring tonight and this is his first fight, I want to say, in less than a year. His fight previous to this, he fought future Hall of Famer Sergey Kovalev. He lost the decision. He learned a lot. Let's see if he can bring that into the ring tonight. And I got to be honest, I sort of wish his walkout music was a little more upbeat. But... <laughs> And as you see, the flags of Bulgaria are, are being held high here, right, right in front of us. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get to the official introductions, we have celebrities and world champions that appear here at Fight Club OC from time to time, and we would like to call your attention to the ring this evening. We are joined by a two-time European champion, an IBF and WBA international heavyweight champion of the world, with a record of 29 wins with 14 KOs and three losses. Would you please welcome to Fight Club, Kubrat. Cobra Pulev! And now for the official introductions, this bout scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the cruiserweight class. Your referee in charge of the action of the sound of the bell is Thomas Taylor. Introducing first on my right, pacing in the blue corner, wearing the red front trimmed in gold, weighing in at 190.6 pounds. From Brooklyn, New York, fighting at a Jamima boxing gym. He brings a professional mark of 14 wins, 13 by knockout with four losses. Would you give it up for Joel Wells Showbreed? And his opponent to my 
the left, wearing the maroon from strength in gold lettering, weighing in at 201.8. From Sofia, Bulgaria, fighting out of real boxing in Las Vegas, he brings a professional mark that includes 16 wins, 13 by knockout, with one loss. Would you welcome the bronze medalist from the 2012 London Olympics? Give it up for Dear Pal, And both fighters getting ready for the final check. And we have <laughs> Joel Showgreen in the red trunks, Torvald Pulev in the red and gold trunks. Technically, Showgreen's in the red and gold too, but to make it easier for you, Showgreen in the red and red sneakers, and Pulev in the red, red trunks himself. Um, one thing to keep in mind, Showgreen comes to us with a record of 14 and a, I'm sorry, he's 14 and four with 13 KOs. So he's got some heavy hands. Pulev has heavy hands himself with a record of 16 wins, that one loss to future Hall of Famer, Sergey Kovalev, and 13 KOs. And you know, that's one thing you gotta love about the international nature of boxing. Only in boxing, or I'm probably not only in boxing, but you gotta love all in boxing that a Brooklyn native can fight a Bulgarian native in beautiful Orange County, California. And Pula being warned by the referee They dap it out. Kind of reminds me of something that happens between Curtis and I behind the mic. You guys can't <laughs> see it. Sometimes things get a little heated between us, but Curtis generally apologizes and we move on. Because <laughs> it's always your fault. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to just let that go. Where's George? Once again, George, our third our third in command is not here tonight. He has a fight coming up in Ontario, and uh, he needs to focus on that. We miss him. We love him. George, we're thinking about you. Thank you. Also, for big congratulations. And a big congratulations. George yes. just got married, and I saw those wedding pictures, and my first thought was, what thanks for the about? invitation. Right. <laughs> we were part, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to kind of see a pattern here. <laughs> Fighters. <laughs> And right, right now, both both fighters doing a little bit of posing. Um, neither one really attempting to sort of set down on their on their shots. And it may just be a case of let's get the first round jitters out of the way. Let's see what the other guy has, and then we will proceed as the fight goes on. This is an eight round cruiserweight fight. Turval Pula from Sofia, Bulgaria, versus Joel Shogreen. Fairly uneventful first round, but I think you could give it to Pula. Now, the, the biggest difference I see right now when, uh, when Pula faints, there's a big reaction. Really big reaction out of Joel. But when Joel faints, there's very little to no reaction. And so is that is that because Pulev doesn't see anything that's making him react? Yeah, I, yeah, he's not and that's probably another reason why Joel's not able to get into where he needs to because he's not seeing it, he's not getting the reaction he's, he's hoping that he's getting from the fans.
We are moving into the second round now between Turbo Pulev and Joel Shogreen. Both guys seem to be coming out as we hear ch Bulgarian chants. I don't really know what they're saying, but I love the spirit of it. It's hard not to get caught up when a fighter from another country comes and his fan base is here and they got the flags out and they're cheering. I love it. it, it, it make, it's one of the things I love about boxing. And, and boxing is such a welcoming sport in that, in that regard. And everybody in the world speaks fighting. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Exactly. Curtis, well said. Both fighters, you have Joel Shogreen in the red trunks with red shoes and Turvel Pulev in the red trunks as well. Shogreen, more of a counter puncher. And I'm seeing what Curtis is saying about the fainting of Shogreen and the fainting of Pulev. Pulev not reacting in the way that Shogreen seems to want him to. Nice jab. Man, he answers right back with two of his own. You see that? The, the amount of panic. What's interesting for Shogreen is he just seems out of position. Yeah. And and he's not going to land the way he wants to land, and this is exactly where Turbo Pulev wants him. Once again, we welcome our Fight TV audience from all over the world, especially from Bulgaria. My name is Evan Jacobs, commenting with me as always, the angel on my shoulder, <laughs> Mr. Saturday Night, Mr. Fight Club OC. Oh, and Shoal Green goes, well, he doesn't go down. He'll push the, down. He'll yeah. push down. You got to be careful, though. Glove touches the mat, especially in boxing. Uh, that's a uh, knockdown, but he was pushed down. Pulev waiting a little too much as well. The crowd seeming getting a little restless. And what makes it hard is this is, this, this is a club show in the sense that people, if you're the hometown person or you're someone that's near the hometown, they'll get behind you, no one's gonna start booing. If you are two fighters from out of town, oh, Turbo Pulev landing with a right hand seems to get the attention unless Joe Green was off balance, but I don't think that he was. You know what? Interesting, we'll see in the third round, but Joe Green, I don't know. Well, I like, don't know. Hopefully we can see that punch back, I missed it. I want to say it was either a, it was either a short left or a short right, but whatever it was seems to have slightly, and I could be wrong, to have discombobulated Joel Show, Show Green. And we'll see now if Turbo Pulev going into the third round. He's in the white trunks against Joel Shogreen. Shogreen's in the, no, I'm sorry. Turbo Pulev is in the red trunks and Shogreen's in the red trunks and red shoes. And I just gotta say this, Shogreen seems discombobulated in some way. He's been on the mat three times. He was pushed down once. In the last round, he seemed to take a shot and was then discombobulated. He just went down in the opening of the third round. Is it jet lag? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know, but Pulev, every time he connects, seems to be hurting him. 
even connects or just touches him. Every time he touches him, it's like a like a flopping type mo movement. And I'm going to give full disclosure here. I am surrounded by fan-friendly Bulgarians. I'm not just trying to chalk up what Turbo Pulev is doing. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. We're watching. We're watching exactly what we're seeing. We're saying exactly what we're seeing. And that's what we're seeing. A fan just looked at me after we said that. Curtis smiled and gave me a gave me a fist of. They obviously like what they're seeing from their fighter. Pulev taking a jab there. Cholgreen just seems uncomfortable. And, yeah. and, and he's holding his hands very low and not in a good position to counter. And the thing is, he's fighting a counter-punching fight. So, to my knowledge right now, he's not giving himself the best chance to win, but who knows? Maybe he's like a Uriah Grant type fighter, another cruiserweight who kind of fought with a rangy style and waited for the fighter in front of him to make a mistake before really letting his hands go. The only problem is you do that too long, the fight goes by and you've lost the decision. Oh, Pulev landing a right hand. Wait. Oh! Wow. That was a, I want to say that that was a left hand. Drop, it was a sweeping left hand. Drop, show green. Pulev coming, coming out now. Looking to measure his foe. Show green's trying. But I think they're going to take a close look in the go, in between rounds. Because Show Green, he's not, he's not showing that he wants to be in it. Yeah, and I think the ref already warned him. And you see the ref staring at him, and, and they're talking. And the commission's going to take a close look now at Show Green. Oh, fight's off. And it appears that the fight has been halted in between rounds. It doesn't look like Show Green is going to get up. The, the, the fight is over. Show Green retires on his stool. And Turbo Pulev gets a victory for his hometown contingent of Bulgaria. The, the fans in front of us are happy. And I'm assuming that, that all the fans watching on Fight TV are happy. And we wish our Fans watching in Bulgaria, well too. It, it seems as though Turbo Pulev came to town, did what he had to do, followed in the footsteps of his brother, who scored a victory in this very room over Bogdan Danu. Man, I love this sport. <laughs> To the end, comes to the conclusion at the end of round three. The fighter un unable to answer the bell for the fourth round. Your winner by TKO, Pavel Pulev. Was that a TKO four or TKO three? So TKO three. And Turbel Pulev getting a TKO in the third round, making everyone in the room happy. It was uh, not the greatest performance by Joel Shogreen, but hey, give him credit for coming here.